Yeah, you're right, we are going to install Flux in Google Colab. First head over to Google Colab and change the runtime type to T4 GPU, and then click on Save. And then now you can connect to the Colab notebook. Now you just have to run this command in the notebook. I have put all of these commands in the video description. As you can see here, we get a URL, just click on it. This takes you to a playground. Here you can run more than one terminal, and it's so easy to use. Click on this plus button to open a new terminal window. Now again, you just have to run few commands, as you can see in the video. These first two commands will update our system to the latest version. Now just copy and paste the second command to the terminal. Alright, now let's move on to the third command. In this command, we will download a package called Area2. Area2 is a powerful and lightweight command line download manager that supports multiple protocols, allowing for fast and efficient downloads of files and torrents. In the next command, we are going to clone a GitHub repository. Stable Diffusion Web UI Forge is a platform based on Stable Diffusion Web UI Gradio. It also allows us to run Flux generations. Well, we are almost there. Now we just need to download the Flux development model. For that, run the next command. And now for the final command to start the Flux generator, which will open a local host port. Again, just copy and paste it in the terminal. In the meantime, we need to create an ngrok account so we can forward our local host port to a public URL. When you are on the ngrok website, click on sign up. After you sign up, it will take you to the setup and installation page. Here, click on Linux and copy the first command they have provided. Again, return to our playground and open a new terminal window by clicking on the plus button. Then, paste the code you copied from the ngrok website into the new terminal. Go back to ngrok and copy the next command, and then paste it into the terminal again. And now, just copy this specific part of the command as I do in the video. In the previous terminal, we can see that it shows the localhost URL, and the port it is using is 7860. So, go back to the new terminal, paste the command you copied, and before you hit enter, add 7860 to the end of the command. Now, click on the forwarding URL, and it will take you to the Flux Generation dashboard. Well, there we have it. Now let's do some test runs to see if this actually works. I typed a prompt and as the style I select this cinematic one. And I click the generate button. After a few seconds of waiting, it started generating the image. Well here is the generated image. Let's do a few more tests. By the way, in the terminal, you can see how it's working and the logs. Now let's try this new prompt. Again, this one too. Well, here we have it. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.